So you know what it's like when you're trying to get an appointment to see a doctor or or a specialist. When you get a when there's like somebody that's top of their game, top mm-hmm. of their field, it's hard to get an immediate booking, right? So normally sometimes I'll say, oh, you know, only three months time, six months time, the really good ones. So when you get a, an appointment, you take it. So this is a eye doctor that I'm phoning. Okay. Got an appointment. Mm-hmm. But now I'm going to do what oh. I do. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Ah. I'm a doctor. Let's see what happens. Good morning. Good morning. Can I speak to Hayla, please? Just hold on for us for a second, please. Hayla, it's my near... Um... Hello, sir. I need to change my appointment, if possible, because... Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, you see on the 8th, I've got to go and have my cat put down. Oh, no. Shame. Yeah. Oh, no. I... She, she's 13 years old. Oh, shame. Quite sad, really. Oh, no. Yes. Yeah. yeah we, one gets so fond of your pet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what about that Friday the 12th? Perfect. At 11 o'clock. Okay, thank you, Hayla. Thank you, and everything of the best for that day. Bye bye. Good morning. Can I please speak oh. to Hayla? <laughs> um, Hayla, just busy. Can I help you? The connection with your appointment? She just changed an appointment for me. She did it so nicely to Friday the 12th at 11. Mm-hmm. Now, I just wanted to find out. Do they put some eye drops and whatever and your eyes are a bit fuzzy afterwards? Yes, apparently you've got cataracts. Yes. Yes, they will put drops in your eyes. Oh, you see, so they'll be a bit blurry for a while. You see, that's yes, a problem. Yes. Uh, okay, you, you see. Must bring someone with to drive for you. Yes, okay, you see, that was my problem is my uh, grandsons usually take me out on a Friday at one o'clock to the lap dance club. Yeah. And uh, I just wouldn't want mm. to risk my eyes being blurry so I wouldn't see the girls, you know. Um. My grandson's two lovely boys. They uh, look after Gramps uh, every Friday. Um. Is, it a, is it a bad thing that my sons take me to the lap dancing club? No, it's got nothing to do with me. Uh, Okay, well, anyway, uh, okay, hold on. So you don't want a Friday because you're lap dancing? <laughs> yes, please. Huh? Okay. You know. Um, the Monday, the 15th, 9.30. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> I made an appointment oh earlier today. <laughs> Mr. Herbert. Mm. Yes. I can't make that today. So you want to cancel that one? It's because my nephew, um, he's he's a robber. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and, and I uh, drive the getaway car. <laughs> and he's got me penciled in for a job on Monday. Okay. Um. Uh, um. So when will you be free? I can help you the Wednesday morning at 9.30. Okay, I'll move it to there. Okay. Thank um, you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> uh, good morning. It's uh, Mr. Fittipaldi here again. Yes. Can I change that appointment? You can. To where? It's it's nine thirty on Wednesdays, and I normally watch the infomercials <gasps> on the SATV. It's All a, right. Give me the date that you want to come. Mm. Do you have something at like uh, six o'clock? We don't work that late. I can help you midday on on a Wednesday. I am quite flexible. Okay, but we not. We work um, office hours from 8 till 5. Oh. Is there any other spe- specific time? From Between 8 and 5. How does 5.30 sound? <laughs> um, listen, I've just explained to you that we're only here till 5. I think you need to get your days and your times mm. right, and then you phone me again, and then we make a plan. Okay. Okay, okay. bye. Bye. <laughs>
No, <laughs> ma'am. Thomas Meadow? Sir Herbert, yeah? Um. Thursday. A Thursday. I tell you what, you can confirm this now. You can put me in for 6 p.m. We don't work 6 o'clock. We work only till 5 o'clock. Oh. Um, really, um, I can't talk to you longer. You need to make sure about your times and then you phone me because um, in it, you must come between 8 in the morning mm. and 5 in the mm. afternoon. Okay, sure, no problem. Um, by the way, have you heard of my grandson, Wackhead Simpson? <laughs> yeah, okay. Do you know him? Um, no, unfortunately I don't listen to the radio. Uh, but you know he works on the radio. <laughs> No, unfortunately, I don't. Uh, Thank you. No, but bye. you told me he works on the radio. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't having any what of it. What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> AFM.